Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today, guys, I'm showing you five different ways how to get early access to the open beta of Multiverse. And let's get straight into the video. Now, guys, I know you read the title and you're saying, but this says three ways. Why are you saying five ways? The reason why I'm saying five is because the three ways is 100% guaranteed, and the other two are very, very high speculations, but not confirmed. And let's get straight into it. The first one is if you did the survey of Playtest 2 or the closed alpha survey and you linked your Twitch, then you're 100% guaranteed to be in the early access of the open beta of multiverses. And if you did the survey and you did not link your Twitch, it's okay. You can still do that. Now, there is a very, very, very slim chance that all you have to do is link your Twitch to your WB account. And you could probably slide in, but that is just my speculation. That is not guaranteed. But if you did that survey, even if you didn't play the test, guys, literally, if you just did the survey, as you can see from Tony's tweet, all you do is do the survey um, and then link your Twitch. And then you're completely fine. And you should have early access. You should get emailed whenever the game is ready and they're able to run out the early access. You'll get an email about that. The next way to get into the... Um, the early access beta is literally being partnered now if you are a big uh, youtuber slash streamer um, that's interested in the game i'm pretty sure you can email um, pfg or wb to get early access or if you were even pick hand selected this is 100 percent a way to get in as you can see right here sandstorm he was one of the people that got selected in the closed alpha because you know he's a, a big name in the fgc community so he was able to get access to show his community and uh, more same way with how they're gonna do like to advertise their game pretty much they're going to try to get more big creators from other games to um show their game off and see you know if they like it if their community like it so yeah if you are a big streamer or a streamer coming up maybe you have to email them or possibly you know check your emails you probably got selected you don't even know um the third way to how to get into the playtest is um if you remember from playtest 2 those people had to link their wb uh their, their twitch to their wb account and recently the close alpha people had to link their twitch to their wb account and if you think about it why would I have to link my Twitch to my WB account? Ding, ding, ding. Twitch drops. I'm not sure if you 100% said it, but that's the only reason why I could think you need your Twitch account because they already have your email linked to your WB to your game. Why do you need Twitch? Only makes sense to have Twitch drops because guess what? That brings in more viewership, more people interested in the game, and also people watching the game to get the game early um, before they you know fully release the game. So that would be the third way how to get it. Right now, it's by doing a survey partnered or by twitch drops now the other two speculations that i have for or again speculations they're not 100 percent but i can almost 75 percent guarantee that this might work so the fourth way how to get into this thing is probably the founders pack tony um talked about this a way back time about saying how there will be a founders pack and there will be set earlier so why would they need a founders pack in a early access uh, uh, in a free beta game early access uh, a founders pack probably because you know to get early access um to their game before the game releases for example i believe rumbleverse had the same thing rumbleverse back in february was allowing people to buy this pack to get early access to the game for a week before the game was actually released to the public and then that all changed and stuff but that only makes sense for a founders pack to happen in my opinion and that's probably just to get you know cool skins and stuff and to get early access to the game before it drops and the fifth way to get early access to the open beta again very speculations but as you guessed it codes Playtest 2 had codes, Playtest 3 had codes. Why would not the open beta have codes for people that already got in to give it to their friends um, to play with them to, you know, play the game and, you know, get the game out there even more. Again, they didn't say it, but for the fact that it was in Playtest 2 and then it was just in closed alpha, why would they take it away from open beta, you know? I think that's the next best way to slowly open the gates to the servers and, you know, um, be able to watch over it and not see a crazy... Um, fluctuation in it while still being able to control it so it doesn't bug out and you know service crash and all that stuff but that's it for the video guys um those are your five ways how to get access to how to get early access to the open beta other than that the best way you know to get early access is literally just by watching people's streams and getting the drops because i'm like i said i'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen when the um early access happens so get straight on that day one as soon as someone stream you better go straight to the stream see if they have drops and watch that shit all the way to the end <laughs> But that's it for the video, guys. Leave a like if it's a video. 
comment anything you know i love your comments comment if you think i missed a method of how to get access to the game <clears throat> if you're first time ever watching one of my videos and you do love multiverses content then hit the subscribe button guys because that's what i'm here for where i got the tips and the tricks got the gameplay got the esports i got everything for multiverses and i'm out guys peace yeah, she got a man she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state moved to la cause she wanna be famous got another five on the side she a waitress but it's getting tough hard to find